they are not going to expose bloody gory images of mutilated bodies or even police brutality as we saw the other day when children are watching the coverage content contains classifiable elements that include coarse language if this scenes must be shown on account of overriding news or public interest news value or even on the basis of constitutionalism then the media should take it upon themselves to ensure that those gory images are taken out of the watershed or at least put a viewer warning that the images could be disturbing this is not only against our regulation guidelines but also against the code of conduct for the practice of journalism in kenya and all the other professional laws that are upheld by professional journalists the world over in other countries it is the norm to give viewer warnings to uh, uh, viewer warnings prior to showing disturbing images the media must promote resolution of conflicts through dialogue and not violence and in fact with the reports that we are getting that other political parties are now planning to counter the code demonstrations against IEBC one would one is left to wonder how far do we want to go how much violence we want to show for what effect and for what benefit to the country we call for calm as government agencies and regulatory agencies in the media industry collaborate to seek a way forward that will protect the interests of the country while safeguarding, uh, safeguarding the fundamental freedoms provided in our constitution including the freedom for peaceful demonstration and picketing let us remember that we all have a responsibility to ensure that peace and harmony prevails in our country and that while showing these images we are not going in the process to undermine national peace.